No. God, no. Oh, look at the strings. Oh! Oh! Hello, everybody. My name is Stoomy, and welcome back for another 100 floors. <laughs> I forgot what they were called. 100 floors of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. We're going to be doing floors 300 to 400 today. And we will waste no more time in this elevator. So we are yet to see the puppet. We got introduced to it in the last episode, but we haven't exactly seen it yet. And we've also been introduced to the weird Silent Hill looking nurse thing with a giant sort of rusted blade, which is all very exciting. Ooh, this is very Minecrafty. I love the texture on the walls. It's like a, it's like an old sort of Minecraft dungeon. I love it. I love it a lot. So yeah, I wonder what nasties we're going to see here today. I'm expecting the puppet because it appeared on the machine. It was specimen six. We've seen five specimens so far, so it would only make logical sense if we're going in the right orders. But at the same time, you never really know with this game. So I'll be very excited to find that one out. Oh, we're on 309. Not too bad, actually. We're making good progress. We've made it to like a weird Zelda-like temple. I'm kind of excited by that. Ah. Those two doors both go invisible. Does that mean we can just walk through? We can. Well, that's very odd. What the hell is this? What does that look like, Binding of Isaac? What are these weird tiki masks? Oh, we got all sorts of tools. Oh. One day, a, one day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. Interesting. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He drove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. And we got the key. I don't like this already. This is creepy. It's so culty. It's making the same sort of um, Zelda-like dungeon noises as well, which is kind of exciting. Or like a, like a Mario dungeon. It's kind of like a Mario. I went instinctively left again. Talked about this last episode. Ah, it was the right choice this time. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied because the shopkeeper was dead. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. And as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. That is not good at all. These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. No. No, his spirit came back. He turned them to puppets. Oh, off we go. Do, 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 do. Where are we going this time? I don't think we can. Oh, we can go left. Hopefully that's going to give us a tiny bit more lore. Let's see the rest of this story. As disturbing as it is, I'm interested. Kind of looks like Sans. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's the same one. Just afterwards, blah, 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 blah. Okie doke. I guess we've got no choice. Wait, this door's shut. Ah, forwards. Ah, ah, of course. Is this going to be left and right again? Can I not go forwards? No. So I went left last time, so maybe right this time? Ah, here we go. Oh. Are you sure about this? No. God, no. Oh, look at the strings. Oh! Oh! Okay! There are no strings on me! Oh, look at all the children around the corners. Oh, it's awful. Let me go! Ah! Oh, God! I think I can look away safely. Something like that. I don't know anymore. My God, oh, it's still there. God, we just gotta go. 
Oh, oh, I hate the puppet. Oh, ow. Ow. Ow, let's keep an eye on him. Oh, look at the hideous face. Oh, 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 oh. There's a door over here somewhere. Let me in. I hate the puppet. Seriously, it's one of the worst things. Let me go, let me go. I heard it move. Heard it move. Heard it move. I heard it move. Ah, it's such a long corridor. Okay. They seem to have updated it slightly. It doesn't do what it did before. Ah. He goes through mood swings. This is just evil in these two rooms. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Never look away. Never look away. Okay. Still going. Still going. The oh, did you see a bit on the left? He was right in my peripheral vision. You might not have seen that because your field of view is slightly smaller, but he was like, in my face. Okay. We should be able to just make it through as long as we keep our eye on him. Don't you go doing any shenanigans. It's going to get difficult now we can't see him in the mist. Hopefully our field of view is just enough. Seem to have lost him. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I went the wrong way. I'm just coming past. I'm just going past. Ow. Where's he going? Oh. That's my eye. No. Oh, no. Don't do it. Ah. To become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something. You belong to me. Your soul wanders an endless maze. We died. Wow. Okay, well, I'll skip back to the room that we were on. And we'll carry on as normal. I, I completely went the wrong way there. That was all my fault. Okay, we're probably about back in the same sort of spot that we were before, I think. More or less. Plus or minus a room or two. He's still chasing us. As he ever. Oh, here we go. This is the room. Okay. So this time, don't go left. Just don't go left. There we go. I think that was where we got caught. No, there's another bit over here. Ow! So it was this way, it was this way, it was this way. Can you stop? My god. What an evil, evil puppet. Okay, we've got some health back. We're gonna need it. Yes, give me more. Give me more, give me more. Holy cr crud balls, I need more. <laughs> you gotta invent weird and wonderful swear words. Uh, this way. Okay, hopefully we don't get any more of those big rooms. If we do, we know it's right, right. Unless it's... Well, it could be a different sort of makeup, in which case we're going to get destroyed. I don't think your jump scares are going to work, Specimen 1. Not while we're being hunted. But I think we get a moment to breathe now. Everyone relax. Oh my god, my leg has been, like, permanently twitching this entire time. I'm secretly <laughs> quite adrenaline filled after that one. Oh, Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. So, at least we got the puppet out of the way. Now, he's probably going to come back at least once or twice in the remainder of this series. But at least for now, we can sort of take a chill pill. Oh, hello. Away from it all. So, something I need to say just before I forget. I have actually entered... I've entered a competition... It's a, uh, it's a editing competition, a creative editing competition. They did a collaboration on an Electro Swing song for both O Sheep and Synth Riders. It's called the Delight Collab Competition. So I'm going to be joining that one, which means that Tuesday's episode is going to be sort of, well, it's going to be my result of the competition. And I'm quite excited. It's been something that I've been quite passionate about, actually. I'm surprised that I've managed to sort of edit together something as kind of creative as I've done. And I think it's pretty cool because especially 
seeing as I'm doing it without my, my own body, without a third party avatar or without a third party figure that I can stick into the, the rhythm game to make myself dance. So instead, I've had to kind of go a, a, a more creative route. And I don't want to spoil anything too much, but I hope you enjoy it all the same. I think it's going to be a good one. And I've got I've got high hopes for the competition. Now there's there's three there's three rounds to it. So if you're not sort of the creative type, you can also join just purely to get like the high score. So there's a solo category which is all about like the high just getting the high score in both games, like from yourself. Specimen two, by the way. <laughs> and there's also a duo collab where if you're not necessarily good at one game or the other, then you can just enter as like a solo competitor with one score from either Synth Riders or O-Shape and then that will get added to someone else's randomly and then the total of those two will become sort of the winning the winning result. Now I'm not too sure about the whole random thing. I'd have preferred some form of like duo teams. That would have probably been a bit better but I guess it works for people who just like got a really really good score on one game but aren't necessarily good at the other which for me I'm pretty darn good at well I'm okay at Synth Riders. I can play Expert, but I'm not too good at any of the challenge modes. But then, um... O-Shape is just a whole new game entirely. Oh, God, we're back. We're back in the jump scare world. Yeah, O-Shape is just completely out of this world. You have to do the most ridiculous long steps I have ever done ever. It's like having permanent three walls in Beat Saber. It's crazy. Yep, we've read that one. So, yeah. And, and I am giving it a go. Like, O-Shape's actually a very good game. It's a bit... It's got some finicky things here and there. Like, sometimes I'll make sort of the shape of the room and then and then the wall will come through. And if you don't know what O-Shape is, it's like a... It's like Hole in the Wall. It was an old TV, like, game show. So you've got to put your body into various shapes and it basically just does that to music. As, like, a wall comes through with, like, a cutout of a person. But, yeah, some of them... I don't know. I feel like I've got through them a couple of times, but it's just been like, nope, you didn't get through. Which, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's an early game, and to be fair, there's probably not that many developers on it. Most of these sort of rhythm games have been done by only small teams. I mean, Beat Saber itself is only like, what, like a team of five plus? Five to ten people? So it's not very big at all. But we're not doing that. We're playing Spooky's Jump Skin Mansion. I did just want to kind of let you know about Tuesday's video. So, hopefully Specimen 2 is going to be all we see in terms of the specimens for this half of it, but... You never know. I think as we get along, it's going to be like, you'll get like five rooms of one specimen and then it'll just jump straight into like three rooms of another specimen and then two rooms of another one. And it's just like, oh my God, there's so many specimens everywhere. But for now, we can take a chill pill, take it easy, have a break, have a coffee, eat some snacks, curl up in bed, quilt on, nice pillow, and just enjoy the moment. of running through repetitive rooms aimlessly for the hope of not even anything. I like I swear to start with in the old in the old version of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Hello, Charlie and Ghost. They had it so that you were like a um you got like a prize. It was like you reach a thousand floors and you get a million pounds or you get like riches beyond your wildest dreams. I swear there was something like that. And obviously this one's a complete remake, so maybe they took that mechanic out and they just wanted to kind of make it a bit more culty. I think that's fine, but I don't know. I could be misremembering things as well. It was a very long time ago. 373. Okay. Oh! My word, did you see that? That's what happens when you make the U-turn too quickly. That's her gimmick coming through there, so we should probably have taken that room just a tiny bit easier. To try not to overlap it here. Oh, she will get us. Uh, I, I don't think she's got us before, so... She could one-shot us. I swear, there's got to, there's got to be a couple of specimens that one-shot us, that is for sure. Oh, sure. But hopefully, <laughs> no more puppet. As long as there's no more puppet, I don't care. Pop is the worst. So I think there's 13 specimens in this one. Which way do you think it is? This way? Yeah. So we've got 13 specimens in this game, and so far we've seen six. So we're just under halfway. And then 
come the endless mode, I think there's a good, like, eight, maybe more specimens. There's also variations of the specimens. So right now you see the child eating ghost is very much like a sort of same ghosty figure. But I think in endless mode, she has different forms. Oh! Ow! The centipede just gives us no chill. Yeah, so the girl will become, I think, slightly more bloody, slightly more aggressive, maybe. And I think some of the other specimens might have forms as well. I mean, God forbid the puppet has another form that's more aggressive, because it's already pretty darn savage as it is. But you never know. I think what would have been really cool is if they made that the death count of each specimen based on the amount of people that died. That could be it, but it seems like the numbers are a bit low for the amount of people that have played the game. But... If the numbers go up every time a player dies to a specimen, then that would be really, really cool. Although I guess specimen one with four actual heart attacks wouldn't have been that good, if I'm honest. And I, I, God knows how you measure that. Okay, 97. But yeah, no, that would have been a cool feature. Kind of like Dark Souls, where you've got like total deaths worldwide when you activate one of the religious statues or whatnot. One more room! Woohoo! And there we go, keep that blood pumping. So that was rooms 300 to 400, so if you enjoyed the video then please don't forget to leave a rating on the video, it definitely helps me out and the channel. And if you'd like to check out the full series then I've left the link down in the description for you to check out. So thank you very much once again for watching and I will see you all in the next time for another 100 floors. So until then, 